Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, handling of multiple subscreens into single subscreen area. And as a part of that requirement, we created one normal screen, we created two subscreens, and we designed the layout for the normal screen. Now we will proceed further. I will save this layout of the normal screen. Now I will go for 101. Now 101 is a subscreen where I will design the layout for header details. So what I will do, I will simply, simply open that table. On the 101, I will design the layout for order header table. So I will go for 101 subscreen. I will click on to layout button. Yes, you all know whenever you are going for header details. Yes, we have single, single values. So we will simply, simply go for the shortcut. What is the shortcut? Dictionary slash program fields. I will click on to this button. So many times we did same to same thing. I will give the name of the header table. This is our header table. Now I will simply, simply go for get from dictionary. Suppose from the header table, we will take order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. I will go for OK. And I will drop here. I do not want to convert this payment mode. So I will go for do not transform. OK. Now again, we will go for additional learning here because so many people ask rather than going for table name hyphen column name, can we give the variable names with LV? Yes. Here also we will do same to same approach. We use dictionary slash program fields. So have you seen if I will double click here, how the field names are coming? Table name hyphen column name. What is the column name? Order date. What is the table name? Z O R D H underscore 28. If you see payment mode, this is Z O R D H underscore 28 hyphen payment mode. What is this? Z O R D H underscore 28 hyphen total amount. And what is for the currency? Z O R D H underscore 28 hyphen currency. If you are comfortable with old approach, no problem. You can go for that directly. There is no need to change the field names here so that everyone can comfortable with other approach also. So what I will do rather than column, rather than the field names like table name hyphen column name, I will simply, simply change it to LV suppose. I am saying LV underscore 08. Because maximum time people are comfortable with LV approach. So I will go for payment mode. I will give LV underscore payment mode. There is no difference, but just we need to use these name now in the coding. I will go for total amount. I will write LV underscore total amount. T. Now here, I will go for LV underscore currency. Now, just remember during the coding, now we need to use same names, same names. I will close this. I will save. I will close this. Now, I will simply go to display mode and I will activate up to this level. Now, as of now, what I will do, we will simply create the structures 
internal table and work area. So we will create two structures, one for the header and one for the item. Because anyways, we need to write the code. Types, begin of, suppose my name of the first structure is LTY underscore data. How many columns will be in the first structure? You are fetching four things. We are fetching four columns. Order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. I forgot to do one thing. I will do that thing also. These are our output fields. So I will simply, simply remove the checkbox for input. This is we always did. So you need to select program, remove input because these are our output fields only. Similarly for payment mode, similarly for total amount, and similarly for currency. I will just save up to this level and close. Now we will go for top of the program and I will create two structures, two internal table and two work areas. One for header, one for item. From the header table, I will go for O number, type, data element of order number. I will go for second, order date, type, data element of order date. Now we will go for third, payment mode type data element of payment mode. Now I will go for total amount type data element of total amount. Now we will go for currency, time, data, element of currency. I will end this particular structure and I will create internal table and work areas, data. Internal table, type table of structure. We all know whenever we are using structure, we need to use type table of. Control D is the shortcut to duplicate a line. Work area type structure. Now I will create another structure for item table. Types begin of LTY data one. Now I will open item table also. Z O R D I underscore twenty eight. Now suppose from the item table. I will take these three columns, but order number is common between both of them. So I need to take because I will use yes. So I will create a structure of four columns from the item table. Order number, type, data element of order number. I will go for order item number, type, data element of order item number. Now we will go for order description. Type, 
डेटा एलिमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ वी विल गो फॉर आइटम कॉस्ट डेटा एलिमेंट ऑफ आइटम कॉस्ट आई विल एंड दिस स्ट्रक्चर नाउ आई विल डिक्लेयर इंटरनल टेबल एंड वर्क एरिया फॉर ऑर्डर आइटम टेबल एल टी डेटा वन 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 now do not forget to activate specially this part needs to be active because you all know on 102 we will go for table control it is already a covered topic because from the item table we are getting multiple rows so whenever you want to display the data in the form of multiple rows whenever we want to display in the form of rows and columns we require table control and we will use this internal table in the table control so do not forget to activate this part otherwise we will face issue whenever we will generate the table control so i will simply display go to display mode and i will activate to this level so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with the designing of the layout on 101 sub screen we simply went to layout we clicked on to dictionary slash program fields and we designed the layout for the header and yes we took just a different approach rather than table name hyphen column name i just give lv underscore that name and we simply remove the check box for the input because they are output fields then i double click on the program name and we declare the structure internal table and work areas for the header and item in the next video we will go for designing of layout on 102 sub screen so that's it in this particular video thank you